Rochelle? Brian. Brian Young. <laughs> Haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> How long has it been? Six years. Which firm did you go with? I went Gold Stain and Hill. Wow. Big time. <laughs> I guess that's what a 3.9 GPA will get you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a 3.95. <laughs> Excuse me. So, what about you? Uh, DA's office. Prosecutor. You always wanted to change the world. And you always wanted to make money. <laughs> now, that's not fair. You know I wanted both. Okay, okay, okay. Well, according to your briefs, we're on the opposite side of this case, but um, that doesn't seem right. I mean... Why? Because my client is white? <laughs> no, because he shot a black man. Who illegally gained access into his property. Mr. Stribal was only protecting his property. That's some BS and you know it. Reggie Kearns knocked on your client's door. And when your client felt the least bit threatened, he opened fire on an unarmed black man. It was man. close to midnight. Now, what would a black man be doing at that time of night, knocking on someone's door? Did he not have a cell phone? He lost it at a party he was attending that night. Uh-huh. And he was also inebriated. Drunk? Yeah. He was at a party. In a neighborhood full of million-dollar homes? I don't think so. Well, the last time I checked, knocking on someone's door wasn't a crime. Mr. Stryber was well within his right to protect himself. And since this is a stand your ground Well, state, that just solves everything, doesn't it? Are you that blind, Ro? You know good and well your client had no probable cause to open fire on an unarmed- Black man? An unarmed man, period. But because he's black, you think I have no business defending a white man in this matter, right? I didn't say that. You don't have to. Your client also has two priors, one of which is breaking an entry. He was 16 at the time. He served a year in juvie for assault and battery. I mean, it's so cut and dry. Is it? Did you know Reggie was a counselor to troubled teens? And since he is, was 42 years old, his record was expunged? Did you also know that he was at a dinner party next door to your client, pitching a new youth program to his benefactors. Mr. Kearns was clearly drunk when he tried to gain entry into Mr. He Schreiber's was, he home. He lost his phone at the party. It was dark and he thought he was going back to the same house. He had one drink because he was nervous to speak in front of all those white folk. He walked right into my client's home. Did he? Yes. I have a witness that says he never made it into your client's house. Is that right? And what eyewitness is this? Is this eyewitness even on the list? No, but he will be. And it's the same witness that noticed Reggie had left his phone. So he went outside to try and catch up with him and to congratulate him on the endowment. Reggie was shot on the front stoop then dragged inside. Who said this? Mr. Schreiber's next door neighbor, Stan Charles. You only have one witness that speculates that my client acted in malice and premeditation. Well, he said Schreiber was a bit of a jerk. Now you can add murderer to the list. Where are you going? I'll see you in court, counselor. Brian, as an officer of the court, I am obliged to prove the innocence of my clients no matter what color he is. I know you want to believe that. 